Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and I want to thank you for coming to this video where we're going to talk about CNC machines in the way of can you just snap a picture of an image and create a carving out of it? And the answer is yes. That's the process I'm going to walk you through in this video. We're going to take a random picture and we're going to convert it into something that can be carved and you'll be surprised how easy this is. All right, so let's jump into V-Carve, which is or Vectric V-Carve, which is what I use with a random photo I just took right out my window. Let's just take a look real quick so you see exactly what I took a picture of. If I can see it. Yeah, okay, so you see the, uh, the building's right there. So you're going to see that picture and we're going to convert it into something that can be carved. Let's go. All right, so we're in V-Carve. And before we jump into that image, uh, I just want to show you that that's exactly what I did with this right here. I took a picture of the logo. I actually took it right off the Facebook page of a restaurant down the street, made up a bunch of coasters, and showed them to the owner, and then they ended up buying a bunch. So that is what this is right here. Simply a, a copy I, I just trimmed. I, I used the snipping tool to take this image. And then I just had to have the software generate some shapes. And then obviously I had to do some changes myself to make it look good. All right, so here is the picture right across the street and what we're going to do is we are going to tell Vectric VCarve to import vectors over this so let's just dive in I am going to use the trace bitmap feature so the point of the matter is is we can do this with any picture so you can take a picture of a logo and do it so now we've got a black and white and it's showing some detail. I'm going to try to get it to show a little more detail. Let's see. We're going to fiddle with this too much. All right. Okay. So I like that. So what I did was I adjusted the threshold on the black and white. I don't want to use the color here. There's too much color noise in it. So I'm going to go with black and white. It's much easier on the software. And then I'm going to just simply press preview. And this is where it has to think for a minute to figure out what it's going to do. And about that story, <laughs> craziest thing I've ever done. But it was the thing that I followed my heart, right? Okay, so you see this created a bunch of lines on the software. So I'm going to click apply and close. Now up here, I have two layers. I've got the bitmap layer, which has the image on it, and then I've got the layer one, which is the line. So first of all, let's just take a look at the bitmap. And you see this interesting looking picture here. And then we're going to switch over to the lines, and there it is. This is that easy. It's going to take some cleanup and some fixing up, like the windows. I would want to clean up these windows a little bit, get... This is where <clears throat> the rubber meets the road in building your skill and design. Where you'll have to go in and start just doctoring things up a little bit and deciding how you want to do it. Like the car, I wouldn't want the car in there, right? So I'd, I'd just pull the entire car out of it, which would take a little bit of work. This is the fun part of the design work. So the car's out, I would take a couple lines, maybe draw them across the front of the building a little bit. Maybe one over here. Just to clean things up, and, and then maybe the street. Look at that, we've got the street post. Let's just kind of look through this picture and see what all was brought in. So you have, for that distance, it picked us up. The Galena Garlic Company which is right across the street, olive oils. See, David, here's your answer right here. And this is a very small section of this image. Let's take a look. I wonder if it picked up that side. Nope. Well, let's take a look at the image. 
We're going to shut things down there, and we're going to look at the image. So there you go. This is uh, so cool. And once you doctor up the picture a little bit, then you can transfer it over and do your V-carving or do your profile cutting. Profile cutting, it, the tool would cut along the lines. V-carve will cut inside the lines like letters like this would be V-carved. So what we're going to do now, David, is we are simply going to take this part of the image and we are going to create a logo. Now, I'm not going to doctor this thing up for the sake of length of the video, and I have a story to tell you still. But what I am going to do is delete. Uh, I don't even need to delete stuff. We're just going to go do this one, but I do want to clear it up just around here to get rid of some of this other mess that's in the right around the logo. And I think that's about it. As a matter of fact, yes, I am going to clear everything else up. So I'm going to pause for just a second while I'm doing that. So let's pause. Okay, so I've cleaned up this picture a lot. I simply just got a lot of the noise out of it. And for the sake of time, I have not done a lot of doctoring up on it. Maybe I should turn this into a project. But we are going to do two things here. I'm going to show you how you can carve out this image, the whole thing. And I'm going to show you, David, how you can create a logo from an image. So we're going to switch over to the toolpaths area. And I'm going to turn off a layer. Well, first I want to take this sign logo. And I'm going to copy it to a new layer. So I'm just going to add a new layer. And I'm just going to call it Logo. And Enter. So what I did was I highlighted this. I did a right click. And the menu popped up. And down at the bottom, it says Copy to Layer, Move to Layer, or Move to a Sheet. So what I did is I copied it to a new layer. So now there's two copies. There's one on the logo layer. If I turn this image layer off, I've got that. But if I turn the image layer on and the logo layer off, it's still there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make your logo first. So I'm going to logo layer. There we go. And we're going to take that sign and we are going to increase the size. So I just grab the whole thing, click it until these buttons pop up. And I am going to grab one of the inner buttons and just size it up. <clears throat> just like that. There we are. So now we have our little sign. And I'm going to do a V-carve on it. I'm simply going to V-carve this whole thing. So I'm just going to grab these letters. Let's try that again. Grabbed all the letters. I'm going to use the V-carving tool right here. Click it. I'm going to select the tool I want. So I want a 90 degree V-bit uh, on this. And I'm just going to run it as it is. And it is going to look like a little logo. And let's run the project. And there's the Gallon Garlic Galena Garlic Company. Olive oils, seasonings, rubs, and aged balsamics. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. I've only been into that store once. And we'll just change the color so you can see it better. We'll give it a nice gold color. There you go. And there's your sign. Okay, so now we're going to do the, the rest of the image. So we're going to turn that layer off, the logo layer. And we're going to turn layer one on that has the sign. And I am going to do a new tool path. And this time I'm going to run a profile tool path with a V bit. And I'm going to use a 60 degree V bit. And I just want to set my depth. I'm going to set my depth to 0 0.05 inches. And I am on the line, meaning the tool cut on the line so to season the image. And I'm just going to set and go. Calculate said, so, oh, I have to pick all these things. So we'll pick them, calculate, and it just generated all the tool paths. Now I'm going to reset, 
And I'm going to give that a color so we can see it. And we'll make it a nice bright color, nice and yellow. And we're going to run the tool paths. And there you have it. So it's taken that image and it's turned it into an engraving. And you can do this with a laser too. Totally. You can do it. So easy. This is Garrett. I'll talk to you next time.